Hi folks, it's December 15th. Happy Hanukkah. I'm here with Matt Shea as always and today I'm joined by Steve Kepnes. Today we'd like to talk about some of the wonderful things our children are doing. They're involved in all sorts of Christmas concerts. They're involved in scholarship activities. We're also seeing literacy nights and wonderful things that our students are doing. So, before we get started with all the great things that our students are doing, I would like to talk a little bit about the fire at the high school. So I have Steve here, who is not only our business administrator, but our ombudsman for all of our facilities. And he's going to talk a little bit about the fire that we had at the high school. Thank you. As you, as you may have heard, on December 1st, we did have a fire in one of the classrooms, room 201 up at the high school. Um, the, our staff, the students, reacted very quickly. We pulled the fire alarm, um, and various fire departments responded to the scene. By the time they got there, within an hour after arriving on the scene, they had the fire out. Excellent. Um, however, that entire room 201 was engulfed in flames. So since then, we've been now working to clean the space and, and rid the other areas of the odor of the flames and the fire. We did have a company come in. They, since then, have been working on, in clearing that entire classroom. The furniture was, was scorched ceiling tiles had come down and, and were engulfed in the flames, so they had to remove all the charred tiles. Um, they had to scrub down the walls. So at this point in time, that room is as clean as we can get it. Um, during the process, the, um, the smell from the smoke did come through the ductwork, and various classrooms that are adjacent to room 201 also had the smell, so we had to seal those off. Um, we, we had um, air quality testing done completed and it came back in favor of, of what we need. There were no particulates in the testing and it did test for gases. There were no gases found and you can see the results of the testing on our website. Uh, our next steps are to replace ceiling tiles mm -hmm. because the tiles have, did absorb the smell. In the process of changing the ceiling tiles, we're scrubbing down the, the grid work that holds the ceiling tiles and then lastly, we will have to clean out the ductwork and replace the ductwork in that classroom. Um, and we will be doing that, hopefully Monday and Tuesday we'll be doing that. By Wednesday, we want to fire up that ductwork system uh, without the students in the building to ensure that as it's blowing into the classrooms what it needs to do, that it's not sending out any more odor from the fire and we'll check that on off hours. Um, that'll be the last piece of the cleanup. But in the meantime, we're working with our architect um, to verify the safety of that room. In addition, he'll be assisting with various designs to choose from to rebuild the science lab. So we want to build a state-of-the-art science lab, um, get the students back in that classroom as soon as we can. It'll take several months to do that, but I think we're at the end of the process, we're going to have a nice space for the students and our staff. We would like to thank the faculty. We would like to thank the administration at the high school. We would like to thank uh, all of our students who have done a wonderful job of adapting uh, as we go through this process. And then to all of our first responders and all of our maintenance folks and everyone who has worked hard on this, we want to thank them for their patience, their understanding, and their hard work. Okay, now we're going to get to some of the great things that are going on this week at Vernon Township School District. Great. All right, let's get started with uh, some of the information and all the great things that are happening in Vernon this uh, Christmas week and holiday week. The fire at the high school. Here is some information about it. This is a picture of the hallway right outside 201 and all the work that they're doing. And again, thanks to our firefighters, police, first responders, and our faculty and staff who have really been flexible throughout this entire process. We really appreciate it. Rolling Hills had their literacy night. They cozied up with a good book. Here are a list of the teachers and, how they, and the books that they read uh, for the students. A wonderful night for all. Cedar Mountain had Google Expeditions. Google New York came out to the school with 20 new phones, and the children, of course, had these sticks that were holding the phones, and they got to walk around the library and see a solar system appear out of nowhere, dinosaurs appear out of nowhere, and tornadoes. And uh, as you can see, the excitement was incredible. It was a great learning experience. Chris Howard, author of Life is Rough, visited Lounsbury Hollow uh, and did a Skype interview with all the students. Wonderful job with this assembly. I want to thank Mrs. Smoldone for all of her work uh, with this. Lounsbury Hollow also collected 
gifts for residents of the nursing home <clears throat> and these are our wonderful people who did the wrapping of those gifts. Mr. Piccarola keeps everybody informed of Walnut Ridge's Instagram account and I just want everybody to be aware of this. This is popcorn and PJs at Walnut Ridge but please check his Instagram account to see all the great pictures and all that's going on at Walnut Ridge. Now Cedar Mountain had a great day the other day this week at where they walked over to Glen Meadow for a holiday concert and a sing-along. To picture those students walking across the field and coming over for a holiday concert was worth its weight in gold, and it was a great day by all. Thank you to the Glen Meadow staff and also to the Cedar Mountain staff for their wonderful flexibility and the ability to make this a great day for our children. The high school has received a $2,000 sustainable New Jersey grant to establish vegetable and pollination gardens. So here's a picture of one of our high school students working in those gardens. Congratulations to everyone involved, Mr. Oseni and all the administration at the high school. And the gardens will be expanded this spring. Lizzie Keith. Uh, was awarded a $40,000 scholarship to the Montserrat College of Art. We are very proud of Lizzie and very proud of the artwork that she did. It's an open heart. Uh, Lizzie is in Miss Herkeler's class, and she worked with Mr. DeVore and also Miss Foco to bring about some verisimilitude with this great sculpture. Congratulations, Lizzie. This Saturday night, Holiday game night at the PAL. Uh, this is sponsored by the Coalition. It's uh, 7.30. There's light refreshments, and uh, there's going to be an ugly holiday sweater contest. So please join folks on Saturday night at the Vernon PAL. So here we are, just like Zach Kalfanakis, between two ferns. We're between two poinsettias. But we wanted to remind you of all the great things that are going to happen this next week. One... This Saturday night at the PAL, they're having game night. 7 o'clock, everyone's invited. We also want to bid a fond farewell to our retiring board members. We have Mrs. Allberger, Mrs. Inconado, and Mr. DeYoung, who are all leaving us, and we uh, wish them well, and we thank them for their service. And then a warm welcome to Dr. Peek, Mrs. Buccieri, and Mr. Nunziata, who will be joining us in the board in January. We look forward to working with them as well. And finally, and here's the really big news, this Thursday evening at Radio City Music Hall in New York City, Mr. Kevin Bohm and our Meister Singers will be singing at Radio City Music Hall just before the Rockette performance. We are totally psyched for our Meister Singers and we wish them the best of luck this Thursday evening. And then we want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Best of New Year's for everyone involved in Vernon Township Schools.